Istanbul, located on the bustling Bosphorus, is the only city in the world that lies on two continents. It is a gateway between Europe and Asia, with the true combination of East and West. With a city this rich in history and culture, there is an overwhelming amount of things to do and see. Here is a taste of my journey through this unforgettable city. Enjoy! Istanbul. 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 Hey, it's Sharzad with Lux Life, and on behalf of Room 77, I'm going to show you guys how to have a Lux Life in Istanbul. Come on! The Hagia Sophia has a fascinating history and was one of the first stops on my itinerary. It is one of the last remaining examples of Byzantine architecture. It has been multiple churches, a mosque, and as of 1943, it became a museum, which is what it remains today. That was amazing, team. I hope you guys enjoy getting a little glimpse of the Hagia Sophia. I think I pronounced it right this time. Then it was off for a trip to the Blue Mosque where I had to cover my arms and legs and my new Turkish friend gave me a nice little history lesson and then tried to sell me a carpet. All in all, it was a wonderful Turkish experience. Here's a little taste of the call to prayer which happens five times a day and this enchanting beautiful sound never gets old to me. P.S. This is the outside of the Blue Mosque. I'm at a spice market, and no, I've never been to one before, so yes, I am very excited, and I'm also excited to show you guys the spice market too. Bargaining is the name of the game in Istanbul, so make sure you've got your negotiating skills ready. Hey guys, I am about to go into the Grand Bazaar. Referred to by many as the original mall, the Grand Bazaar is one of the oldest and largest covered markets in the entire world, with over 3,000 shops. This market attracts anywhere from 250,000 to 400,000 visitors daily. Taksim Square is a major tourist area filled with restaurants, shops, hotels, street performers, and people. My favorite performance of all is the ice cream show. Take a look. Lux Life takes you to Bebek. Bebek is a cute little posh neighborhood sitting right on the Bosphorus. It is filled with trendy boutiques, hip restaurants, and it is not to be missed. One of the big tourist attractions in Istanbul are these whirling dervishes. Take a look. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't so excited about eating my way through Istanbul. And luckily for me, there was no shortage of the most delicious food on the planet. As a bona fide foodie, it would be wrong if I didn't try everything, right? Let's be real here, friends. The number one thing I wanted to do in Turkey was visit the Turkish bathhouses. And boy, did my dreams come true. I was blown away, and they exceeded any expectations I had. It is an absolute must when visiting Turkey. Take a peek. FYI, the bathhouses are referred to as hammams. Head to a club like Reyna to soak in the super sexy nightlife in Istanbul filled with people watching and amazing music from around the world. With over 13 million people in the city of Istanbul, it can get slightly overwhelming. So consider taking a trip to the Prince's Island. Welcome to the Prince's Islands, a nice escape from the bustling city of Istanbul. You won't find any cars here, just horse-drawn carriages, bicycles, and uh, oh yeah, a donkey. For the record, this was slightly on the scary side for me. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm, I'm genuinely afraid. I did manage to conquer my fears and ride the donkey up a very steep hill and was pleasantly rewarded by some breathtaking views. I hope you guys enjoyed this journey and I hope you get to visit Istanbul someday. Thanks so much for watching. Gotta go!